Ladies and gentlemen, are you enjoying the show? The second domino has fallen. Ripple Chris Larson files a motion to dismiss the SEC case over the XRP sales. Let's go ahead and dive into this video. Welcome to the party, we don't play around here. Moon suit on or you get sprayed round here. Watch where you walk and you get eight out here. Wolves and them sharks like a buffet out here. Whole blue crew and we go So the second domino has fallen. The SEC case is starting to fall apart. Ripple's executive chairman has asked the U.S. court to dismiss a U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission lawsuit alleging security violations relating to the sales of the XRP cryptocurrency. According to a legal letter informing Judge Annalisa Torres at the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York of a motion to dismiss, lawyers say the SEC's amendment complaint still fails to state claim against Mr. Larson. The SEC's own allegations are not only deficient but affirmatively show it cannot meet the standard. The letter reads, at a minimum, the SEC must allege that this was so obvious that XRP transactions were securities and Ripple's conduct was improper that Mr. Larson must have been aware of it. The lawyer also argues the regulator fails to demonstrate Larson had provided substantial assistance to Ripple in carrying out its sales of XRP or that Larson's XRP transactions were within the U.S. and hence within its jurisdiction. The deficiency is fatal to the Section 5 claim against Mr. Larson. According to the letter, to plead a Section 5 violation, the SEC must adequately allege that each sale occurred within the territorial reach of Section 5. The letter also alleges the SEC's claim for monetary relief is time-barred, having gone way beyond the allotted time period to pursue a claim under Section 5. Because the SEC has alleged that the sales of XRP over a multi-year period constituted only one offer, the statute of limitations began to run in 2013 and expired in 2018. The letter reads, this is all a show to shake you out because they want them bags and they want them bags empty. Here goes the letter right here. The amendment complaint still fails to state a claim against Mr. Larson. We write pursuant to your honor's individual rule to inform the court of the grounds for Mr. Larson's motion to dismiss. Mr. Larson joins in the argument set forth in Mr. Big Brad Garland House's letter and also set forth the specific grounds for this motion below. So y'all can check out this letter if you want to go into detail with that. One other thing that I want to show you is this is the same show that happened the last bull run that's happening right now. So this is what they thought about XRP right before the last bull run. Critics say that the banks created Ripple for themselves as a centralized hybrid fake blockchain instead of a truly distributed blockchain like Bitcoin or Ethereum. They do say XRP, however, for now is the only digital asset with a clear use case. It's the best digital asset for payments. They also say Ripple XRP is for the banks and not for you. They don't want you in XRP. And this was June 20th, 2017. Why some claim Ripple is not a real crypto cryptocurrency December 14th 2017 they're still talking crap about XRP and it's already popping right when it was going up to moonshot 3 they're still trying to shake people out as it's still rising in price going from half a penny up to three dollars and 75 cents so it's the same show just a different ball game they want you out of the greatest digital asset and as we see last bull run what happened in mid-march of last bull run XRP began to run and melt off all those faces as xrp did take home the best performing asset and with all that being said and that second domino falling chris larson filing his motion to dismiss filing a motion to dismiss be looking out for a nice green candle just like this one right here and with some news to go on top of it once xrp begins to launch we already have brad garland house filing his motion to dismiss and we have chris larson filing his now and xrp still holding strong at about 45 cents ready to blast off so xrp will melt off those faces and catch up to the show and hit those all-time highs whether the sec is here or not xrp will rise and steal the show other than that i am the bag man i am not a financial advisor I hope y'all continue to stay bullish out there and continue stuffing those bags. And I will catch y'all all in the next one. Peace out, crypto family. Try to shake me out, but I was born ready. Dropping down the price, then I be getting plenty. They want all your bags and they want all them empty. Ten cents, please go ahead, don't tempt me. I got many bags, V chains, got the zills. I be feeling stellar, filling up my lumens.